Hi, so in this tutorial, I am going to walk you through how you can set up divs and how you can basically use layers within your website as a way of organizing your content. Um, so what we've got here is our simple web page. There is nothing about it other than uh, it's got a title at the top, which you can see there, my title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just using the tags you've already learned. Uh, so we're going to go for H1 uh, CSS float layout h1 and then we're going to use paragraph uh, in this example we're going to spelling going to create a web page with a header and two columns i'm going to put, uh, close that and if i press save file and save refresh that there we go job's done now, remember before, we want to add styles in. Well, these go within the head. So I'm going to open my style and I'm going to close my style. So that's where I control the way that everything looks. All right. So what I want to do first is I'm going to control anything in the body. All right. So what I'm going to do is set up body. And now anything inside these curly brackets will be controlled. So what I'm going to do inside the body is I'm going to press the tab key. I'm going to say font family and I'm going to pick Arial Helvetica uh, Sans Sans Serif. Uh, come back. I've obviously pressed tab there. Uh, sans Serif. Okay. I'm going to press save. Now when I refresh that I've changed the font. So that's another skill that we're looking at today. So in the style, you can choose the font. But what you ultimately want to do today is choose the headings and you want to be able to add in all of the different content. So we're going to make uh, in the body. All right. So we're going to stay in the body. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the header first. All right. So we've got header. And again, header. And I'm going to use the H2 tag, lesson three, close H2. So I've got a header there. Again, don't forget to close because I almost just did that. So if I press save and refresh, it doesn't really do anything, does it? All right. So we've created our own block, if you like, but it doesn't do anything. So this is where we go to style. All right. So I'm going to choose a style here called header. Right. Now what I want to do in the header, I'm going to set the background color. We'll pay attention to the color. All right. To yellow. There are other colors you can pick. Text. Line. All right. Uh, center. Font size. 35x and color we're gonna go let's go for red all right so I'm gonna save that now watch what happens we have chosen the color we have centered it we have given it a font size and we have given it a color but we want two columns underneath that so what we need to do actually is create a section all right and the section encapsulates the two so what i've got here is section we're going to open the section and we're going to close the section just get into the habit of opening and closing things now i want my navigation this is going to be the part where i'm going to put all of my links all right and i'm going to put link one link to obviously you would use the uh what we learned in our previous using the href okay uh backslash navigation all right and if i save that at the moment you'll see it's not really we've not controlled the way it looks yet all right but then we're going to have main content main content or this will be where your articles go all right uh, P 
this is this is some text. Is more text. Backslash in content. And now let me save this and we're going to go back to the style. So what's happened is the layers have gone underneath each other. And what we need to do is kind of make them go side by side. And that's why CSS styles are really important. So I'm going to create my style now and you'll notice how much the website changes. So what we've got here is we've got navigation. All right. I'm going to open my style and close my style. Now the navigation is where the links are going to go and you can choose whether you want them to the right or to the left. So if I put in background color is red and I'm going to float this to the right. All right. I'm going to have a width of 50% next. A line. I'm going to center the text. Font size. I'm going to have as 12. And color of the font. The background color is red. I'm going to go for a white font. So that's all inside navigation. Now let's see what's happened. So file save. Can you see that's now moved to the right? And you can choose the width of your navigation. I might want that at 30% and that will make that smaller. All right. Right. We need to do our last bit. Let's make things a little bit easier for us. I'm just going to copy and paste that style. And we're going to say this one was called main content. Make sure these styles link up to the tags you've used. So that one is main content. All right. So that is main content. This time we're going to float this to the left and make up the remaining width. If this is 30%, this wants to be 70%. If, so that should make sense. So we're floating that one to the left. I'm going to choose, let's go for uh let's go for a background color black this time. Obviously, I would like a layout that is consistent with color, all right? but you can change and play around. So text align left, file save, refresh, and you have a layout there. And that's using a header, navigation, and main content. And that's because I've got a tag for my header that goes across the whole of the screen. Inside my section, I've encapsulated that and kept that all together using the navigation tag and the main content that will help you with today's lesson so your task will be on the slides for today's lesson enjoy